Hi, I'm Kelly from Renjoy TV, and I want to share with you a simple Qigong routine that you can use while sitting at your desk. It'll help you relieve some tension in your shoulders, get qi and blood flowing in your arms, and just give you a few moments to relax. Make sure you practice to your own condition, how you're feeling today, and let's go ahead and get started. Letting yourself sit comfortably in your chair. If it's comfortable enough, bring yourself to the front of your chair. If you need, you can add pillows or support behind you. Or if you need to, go ahead and scoot to the back of your chair and use the back as support. Either way, lift from the top of your head. If you want at any time, you can close your eyes. Lifting your spine up, relaxing your head and neck. Feel your shoulders and arms relax down into your palms and fingers. Relax your chest and upper back, abdomen and lower back. Let your lower back relax slightly forward. Feel your hips relax. Feel the support of your chair as you sink into it and relax even further. Send that relaxation down through your legs, your ankles, and your feet. With the whole body relaxed, we'll bring our awareness into our shoulders. Starting by lifting the shoulders up, circle the shoulders back, down, forward. Continuing to circle the shoulders back. Making nice, smooth, even circles. Letting yourself move as slowly as you need to help this part of the body feel relaxed. If you're not making full circles at this point or if things feel stiff, no problem. This is a common area that we can hold our tension. So just observing, noticing where you're at today, letting yourself move smoothly and gently, making incremental progress and opening up the chi and blood flow through your shoulders, your chest and upper back through your neck as you make these nice gentle and smooth circles. Go ahead and do the last one to the back and then circle the shoulders forward, up, forward, down, and back. If it helps, you can visualize the shoulders making a circle. And if a bigger circle feels challenging, or you're not quite feeling relaxed, go ahead and make some smaller circles. Making them as small as you need. If you're feeling like things feel smooth, open, and relaxed, you can expand your circles, making them a little bigger. Whatever size and pace 
supports the relaxation of this area. The more we can use the movement, use the connection of our mind into this area to relax, the more chi and blood can flow through this whole area. Go ahead and do the last circle forward. Notice any changes. If you're feeling anything different, either in the shoulders, the arms, the neck and the chest and upper back, or just in how you're feeling. We'll go ahead and move our awareness down into our hands. Supporting the chi and blood flow in our hands. We'll do a movement called Yang Dong Fa, where we're opening and stretching the hands out, curling and drawing them in. Yang Dong Fa translated as moving like snakes and worms. Moving our fingers in this way helps open up the joints, every tiny little part of our fingers and our hands, where we might feel stiffness or tension. Again, opening up that chi and blood flow. Helping to release that tension. Nice light and relaxed stretch. As things loosen up, you might notice a change in the wrists, even up through the arms. Moving the fingers and hands in a way we don't always get a chance to. And when you're ready, go ahead and let your hands relax. Again, noticing any changes, maybe a temperature change or sensation. Maybe just feeling more relaxed. And last, we'll bring our hands up in front of the abdomen, close but not touching. We'll open the hands out from the elbows and then close back in. Again, close but not touching. Open out, close in, open, close, nice, smooth, even, rhythmic movement. The mind and body settled, relaxed, feeling calm and natural. And you can visualize or sense a chi ball between the hands. As you open out, the ball expands. As you draw back in, the ball comes back to its original size. We 
with each movement. Your mind can go out as it expands and draw back between the hands as you come back in. Letting your mind connect and unify with the movement of the hands opening out and drawing in. Nice singular focus. Your mind, body, and chi all connected. And we'll go ahead and do the last one with your hands in front of the abdomen. Turn the palms so they face the lower abdomen. Draw the hands in, one on top of the other, placing them on the lower abdomen. Your awareness, your focus inside the lower abdomen. Noticing any changes. Noticing if you feel any different from the start of the practice. And we'll wake our senses up by rubbing our hands together, rubbing chi into the hands, and just rubbing into the face. Skin is smooth and bright. Rubbing around the eyes. Vision is clear. The ten fingers combing through the head. Everything clear, fresh, awake. And you can relax your hands down. If your eyes are closed, when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Thanks for joining me for this practice. Hopefully you're feeling more relaxed, ready to take on the rest of your day. If you want to learn more details about the practices and have access to our full Yuan Gong methods, click the link below to our at-home learning program. Hope to see you here again soon.